Creatine is probably a good idea for everyone, especially athletes, and especially if you're recovering or you're dealing or dressing with uh, some kind of degenerative chronic disease, which is many of us. Okay, 855-660-4261. Carl, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? Good morning. Hey, morning, morning. What's going on? I had a question for you. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, two questions. The beta carotene thing. I know you gave like a little warning on I didn't, the vitamin, I didn't get, vitamin A. I didn't get a warning. I didn't, I didn't warn you. I just like I was talking about how you don't want to just take one carotene. You mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. how besides the vegetables and all that, when you take uh, twenty thousand IU's, I mean, I mean, it, it's regular supplementation through any other various sources besides the stuff that. Longevity makes, even though it doesn't supply that much. Is it okay to take uh, another supplement of some kind, as well as eating all the red vegetables and all that for your eyes? Is it okay to take another supplement of a, car- a carotene supplement? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but don't. Yeah. You know, here's the thing on them. You really, you can, but you must much better off spending your money somewhere else, in my opinion, than taking okay. a carotene supplement. Because there's so many carotenoids and, and targeting them, it just doesn't, it seems almost scammy to me to target a specific carotenoid. Because how do you know what carotenoid, you know, they, they, what they do is they study one carotenoid, right? There's 80 of them, or, or I'm sorry, there's 800 of them, I think. There's some huge amount. They keep finding new ones. By the way, you know these phytonutrients, Carl, and, and the listeners, carotenoids and flavonoids are very interesting. They, if we discovered them back, back in the day, when we were discovering vitamins, they would still be, they'd probably be considered vitamins. They're that essential. Vitamins being defined as something that you absolutely, absolutely 100% must have in your system. These phytonutrients, we underappreciate them because they got discovered later. And they, they're only used by the body in very microscopic amounts. So they got super amazing, amazing protective properties, especially against the sun, environmental protective properties. And so you want to make sure you're getting them. But the best way to get them is from vegetables. Uh, and if you're going to do fruits, fruits that have a lot of peel as opposed to pulp, because these, these, what they call phytonutrients, carotenes and such, are in the peels of fruits, not so much in the pulp, a little bit in the pulp, but not so much in the pulp, but they're in the vegetables throughout, and this is what makes vegetables so important, as tricky as vegetables are for a lot of people to eat, vegetables have those lectins in them, uh, vegetables are really important, but here's the key. Because these phytonutrients are fat-soluble, we have to pay close attention, especially as we get older, especially women who are in menopause, or anybody who's got fat malabsorption or digestive or pancreatic or intestinal, which is, you know, the vast majority of us, we have to pay special attention to how we extract those phytonutrients, the carotenes and the flavonoids, out of vegetables because they're not readily taken in. You you eat all your Brussels sprouts you want, but if you're fat absorbing and fat handling machinery, your bile, your liver, your gallbladder, if you had a gallbladder out, uh, taken out, it's even worse. All of these things require fat absorption to be utilized and absorbed. And any kind of compromise there is going to be, is going to, is going to affect that. So you got to make sure that when you're using your, your vegetables, when you're t- eating your vegetables, trying to get these things, you're helping your body helping your digestive system pull these fatty substances substances out using things like apple cider vinegar, making sure you're using lecithin and digestive enzymes, uh, putting, heating your vegetables slightly and using oil and butter while you're heating them so you can kind of extract the flavonoids and the carotenes out of the vegetables. Heat them very slightly using oil or using butter or coconut oil, some kind of saturated oil with the vegetable as you're roasting or steaming or very lightly, you don't want to overdo it, and then uh, uh, when you're eating whatever uh, the vegetable is, you put oil on top of it again, as much butter and oil as you can use as as a taste, you should really go crazy on the butter and oil, good stuff though, use the Udo's blend or use good flaxseed oil, good quality oils, in my opinion, I know there's a lot of controversy out there, but in my opinion, you want to make sure you're doing this. It will help pull the fat-soluble nutrients, the the uh, carotenes and the flavonoids, out of the veggies. You can also grind up the veggies or crush the veggies a little bit. That will also help if you can do it while while they're steaming. That will help further release those. I know I gave you a lot of information there. Uh, Carl, does that help? Did we lose Carl? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Hello. Hey, Carl. Hey, hey, Carl. Hey, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Was that too much info? Uh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I had, I had one last question. I had a friend of mine who's 60 years old. He yeah. just got diagnosed 
with leukemia. He's 5'10", oh, yeah. and uh, average weight, he's like maybe 200. He's not okay. heavy, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know, a, what can you do to combat that? Slow things that down. Or, For cancer, you want to slow things down. The immune system's going nuts in leukemia. Cells in cancer cells go nuts in leukemia. The immune system goes nuts, immune system cells. So you need to slow things down in all cancer. That's the key to dealing with cancer. I'm not going to say cure cancer. Uh, I personally, I don't see why it shouldn't be curable, knowing what I know about the biochemistry, but regardless, the fact is that cancer is a fast-moving disease. Cells are dividing rapidly. Everything's going crazy. You've got to slow things down. Fasting is key for cancer. Uh, uh, using vegetables that you can handle, if, you know, you've got to be careful with vegetables too, but vegetables that you can handle, vegetable juices, uh, keeping the body very, very clean, pristine, you're reducing any kind of inflammatory triggers. That's the key to dealing with leukemia. Lots of vitamin C. Helping the body fight cancer using things like sulfur. Having, uh, this is for all cancer, Carl, not just leukemia. You with me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm right with you. Okay, okay. Correcting digestive issues is big time. If there's anything getting into the blood. Now, I don't, I'm not, once the cells have turned cancer, or oxygen, cancer hates oxygen, driving oxygen into the body, hyperbaric chambers. Get Ty Bollinger's book, uh, uh, Cancer Outside the Box. i got to move on, buddy. Got a bunch of calls. Okay, okay Carl? Okay. Thanks so much. All God right. bless. Have a beautiful day. Okay, uh, Ron in Michigan. What's going on? Uh, yeah, hey, Ron. Ben? Yeah, what's up, Ron? Oh, okay. Hey, I wanted to call in because I have the uh, osteoarthritis in my yes, left hip. Okay. And I'm scheduled for surgery to have my hip joint replaced. Uh, I don't know. Well, I can help you. I, I, don't, I don't know how far along you are, but we can certainly, get, if you want to work at it, there's lots you could do. Hang tight. We'll, we'll finish up. We'll answer your question here in a minute. Uh, when we come back from our break, and then uh, we'll take Gene and Jeff and come back as well. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Hey everybody, Jason Lewis here with another great idea from JasonLewisTeam.com. Now, how would you like an energy drink that's actually good for you? That's right, one that not only gives you an afternoon pick-me-up, but that's loaded with the most important antioxidants for reducing the damage from stress. It's called Pollen Burst, and it's a natural burst of energy that lasts for hours. Now, most energy drinks rely on a massive dose of caffeine, sugar, or even vitamin B. Pollen Burst takes a more balanced approach, and that's why I like it. I also love the fact that Pollen Burst has plenty of vitamin D and green tea extract. This is the best energy drink I've ever tried. So trust me, you'll not only like it better than the others, you'll love the way it's individually packaged for freshness as well. They've got these on-the-go stick packs. They're great. Pollen Burst. It's available at JasonLewisTeam.com or simply call 1-855-310-TEAM. For a natural burst of energy, it's Pollen Burst at JasonLewisTeam.com or 1-855-310-TEAM. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Americans have always been ready to defend, to serve, and to honor those who defended and are defending all of us. So this month, the freeze-dry guy honors and serves Americans with our meat, rice, and potato sale. Our unit includes four number 10 cans of quality Mountain House cooked diced beef, ground beef, diced chicken, white rice, and two cans of FDG dehydrated diced potatoes. 158 servings per case unit. And during the freeze-dry guy's meat, rice, and potato sale, get one case for only one 79, two cases for only $3.55, or get three cases for only $5.15, and all come with lots of valuable freebies. For details, click freezedryguy.com and hurry. Sale ends soon. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Plus, free shipping to the lower 48 states from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. All right, we are back on the break side. 855-660-4261. Ron, in Michigan, you want to talk about osteoarthritis? Correct. Easy. Uh, Easy peasy. Except for the problem with osteo, and how old are you, buddy? 68. Okay, so the problem with osteo is because it's degenerative, that means it t- takes a while for it to show up. And it's going to take a while for you to get back to your, you know, you know, your fighting days, so to speak. But you can begin the reversal process, you can begin the healing process immediately, and you can notice results immediately. But you've got to do a few things. All right, you ready? Even if you're even if you're bone on bone right now. Bone on bone, yes, sir. Even if you're bone on bone. Now, again, if you're bone on bone, it's going to take a while for you for you to get going. Again, that's a lot of degradation, and, and that's typically what happens by the age of 68 when you got have a hip replacement. It's not really nutrition is kind and gentle. It's gradual. It's not like a drug. You know, we get this idea, I take this, take that. It's like a drug. That's allopathic nutrition. I always say, you can't treat nutrients like you do with drugs. It's not a fair comparison. That's what the drug companies want you to do, is they want you to treat uh, nutrients as if they're drugs. That's why you'll see these articles every once in a while say, oh, EFAs don't help for heart disease. Well, they're not supposed to help for heart disease. It doesn't work that way. Nutrients work as a team. They work gently. They help rebuild. So what you've got to do is you've got to start where you can start. And if you don't want to do it, then you're, you're right. The, the, the surgery is the only option. Does that make sense, Ron? It does, but how can you rebuild cartilage that's already gone? You have something called cartilage-making cells. You have cartilage and cartilage-making cells. When your cartilage is gone, what that means is it's not all gone, but it's largely gone or it's degraded significantly. It doesn't mean you don't have chondrocytes, cartilage-making cells. You follow me? All right. You always have those. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to figure out why are these cells, remember all disease is cell disease, so you want to figure out why are the cartilage-making cells sick? Why are they not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Now, chances are you've had uh, 68, 67 years plus of not doing the right things to feed your chondrocytes, to make sure the cells that make cartilage and connective tissue are healthy and strong and vibrant. Are you with me? Right, yes. Okay, so how do you be, rebuild? You reduce the inflammatory factors. And it's going to take a pro, this is a process here. I'm not going to lie to you. You're 68 and you're, they call it bone on bone, you know, so you're, de- you're degraded. You're pretty degraded, so we got to reverse it. I'm not going to tell you just take this pill, that pill. 
But if I'm you, I'm beginning, I'm doing what I need to do. And even if you do have the surgery, you still want to do this stuff because you still want to stimulate your own, uh, you, you still want to stimulate tissue, connective tissue. Just because you have a new joint in there doesn't mean there's no connective tissue growing. So you still want to do this stuff. In fact, even more important because you're recovering. So you need more protein. First of all, you need to reduce infl- inflammatory factors, always. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, uh, and I'm just going to wind this down real quick because there's so many things you could do, Ron. Uh, I was talking, uh, listen up, because this is, gonna, this is for osteo or anything. I was talking to a friend yesterday. I was like, you know what, Rich, 